Now, millennials, that presents a whole new uh, challenge or a different area. How, how are millennials different as they are rising now within society and within the corporate mm -hmm. culture? How do you describe a millennial in terms of what challenges they present to today's leadership? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I like the way that you put that because we um, we have a few millennial clients, um, but most of our clients are more in the the Gen X or in the baby boomer, um, most in the baby boomer, um, and and that's just by nature of that's where most people are sitting now at the more senior level of leadership, um, and in the challenges, and we're hearing this a lot. The challenges that they're facing are just not understanding um, the the different in um, values, um, and, and I hate to repeat so many things that are being said like entitlement, um, wanting huge flexibility, um, wanting to be promoted quickly, um, feeling like they have the right to speak to their mind to anyone, also wanting to be special, very much wanting to be set apart and special. Um, but I think we've also got to think about it from the standpoint of this is a very different generation. Our generation didn't have, we, we weren't as entitled. We weren't as global. We didn't have exposure to the world like this. It was sort of a farm system. Sure. You started here, then you exactly. were promoted there, then you went there and went there. And everything in our culture reinforced that. Well, everything in our culture, it is different now. Now, whether, we, whether it's right or wrong could be debated. But it is different. So I think for for senior level leaders, they've got to learn how to lean into and begin to embrace this rather than I've, I think I've seen too much fighting and pushing against it rather than how do we learn more about this generation and how do we make it work? Because they also have a lot of good things to bring to the table, too. So how do the baby boomers and Gen X relate to millennial? Yes. And then the millennial relate to yes. and respect and honor yeah. the baby boomer and Gen right. X too, not write them off as right. past tense. And you know, Jim, I have to, uh, and I almost have to cringe when I say this because I just grew up with more of that, you know, workaholic mentality. You work hard and and um, you're you know, re rewarded accordingly yes, for effort and, for right. that. And you know, I've had to look long and hard. I've got three kids, you know, three grown kids are young, um, but they work to live, not live to work. Right. And you know, I've had to take a good hard look at that to say, who's to say I'm right? right. That my way of doing is the it only way. is right. Right. And I think we have to take a look at the culture within our organizations and we have to determine if we want to flex that culture and if we do, what do we need to do? to make that happen, or do we not? And some people just choose they don't. They just walk away from it. Right. Where do you think your confidence comes from in having that ability to engage both the baby boomer and the millennial? Mm-hmm. Um, well, probably the more baby boomer is <laughs> because I live into it, um, who I am, so that makes it easy, right? It's, it's easy for us to embrace who we are. Right? Um, but I would say also with the millennials, that because I've raised um, you know, three kids, and so just being on that journey with them, and, and, and during a portion of that journey, I was a single parent. Um, and so just working through that and learning how to understand them and still continuing to do that and in the workplace. So yes, I am a coach, um, but I also run a business. Mm -hmm. And we have all the different generations who work with us as well. And so learning how to best work together is something I'm always working towards. As well, mm -hmm. too. We all are. Yeah. Yeah, we're all a work in progress. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Mm -hmm.